Hi, this is Michael, and we are using Google SketchUp. Today we're going to be working on stuff called scaling, and a little bit more on excursions. So, let's make a square. See how it specifies square, in which case 5 by 5 meters. We use the P key to extrude this 5 meters, and you can see we have a lovely cube here. Let's say we want to see inside it. We can use tools like this, X-ray, which makes it semi-transparent. We can see the lady over there. We can click that off for now. What we're going to do is we're just going to make a little surface here like that. Press E to erase, get rid of that, P to extrude. We can move it in like that and make it x-ray. We can see right through there. Now let's say we want it, and you can also press K, have those outlines show up. Let's say we want this to be smaller. We can press S, which is scale. It's also seen here. You can see that it's working in three dimensions. It's not following the face of the cube. It's following the red, green, and blue axes of Google SketchUp. We can do things like this, which means we're squishing it or stretching it in the blue direction. We can make it small or large. Let's say if we wanted 0.5, it will be 0.5 or one half the height. Red, same thing. And that X, if you make that twice as big. Green, same thing. Now these work in two of the dimensions. So we can move this, in this case, red and green axes without changing the height in the blue axis. Stretch it around like that. Here, using green and blue. So we can move that around without changing its depth. And where's the other one? Here. Red and blue without changing its width. See if we f go past it, it'll invert it, flip it around. And this one, which moves it all in all three axes. So I want this half the size, 0.5, meaning it's half the length, width, and depth. This is uniform scaling. Hopefully that makes sense. Feel free to comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.